The role of aerospace companies as holders of potentially basic scientific knowledge not shared with the academic world it seems very wrong to me. Maybe wrong, but it's um, true. It is true. You believe it's true. Yeah, I know it's true. You know that there's physics knowledge held by aerospace companies that is not there known. There certainly is materials knowledge, materials which science. involves topological physics. The approach to evaluating these uh, materials is a very much a step-by-step -step process. To start, uh, we'll look at it. It's a uh, physical structure under high magnification, just ordinary microscopes and so on. Keep notes on, on what kind of uh, details we see. Uh, is there evidence of you know, nano-engineering or whatever? <laughs> and then there's certain straightforward, simple things we can do like measuring conductivity across through different surfaces. And then the next layer that we always do is to determine its chemical constituents. And so for that we have x-ray fluorescence uh, analyzers which bombard the material with uh, x-rays to excite the nuclei and then the radiation coming off the nuclei in response uh, have certain signature lines and those get plotted out. How accurate is that? That can be very accurate. You, you can distinguish uh, between elements that are right next to each other in the periodic table. So. I, I don't know, maybe one of the few lawyers <laughs> that uh, pays as much attention to this as, as I do, I keep getting invited by people to represent them when they're afraid they're going to get threatened or their security clearance is going to get yanked away or, or whatever it is. And so I have, I've been invited, I have to appear in front of the Inspector General uh, of the Defense Department uh, representing uh, Lou Elizondo uh, because uh, he has filed a, an, an Inspector General complaint against the, de the Department of Defense for uh, holding back information about the UFO phenomenon. People who are uh, coming at this issue of extraterrestrial intelligence and the UFO phenomenon, etc., people tend to uh, prism the whole experience through their own lenses of their worldview. And so, therefore, you know the, the the people who are who are authoritarians or militarists. You know they view them as this extraordinary threat. People who are sort of utopianists view them as sort of the George Dansky thing. They've all come from outer space to help us save ourselves from ourselves. You know, and, and the, the scientific logical positivists are, are are viewing them as this strange conundrum that's sort of somewhere between the borderline of the material realm and in this other realm, whatever it is. <laughs> Uh, you know, so I've been I've been uh, just making myself available over this time since 1977. <laughs> Do have a problem with is drama. I want to obliterate ufology as we know it. Ah!